Hi friends, welcome to my reaction to Shadow and Bone Season 2, Episodes 6 and 7. So welcome back, and if you missed any of the previous episodes of my reactions, they will be linked down below in the description box. And let's just get right into the juicy bit, which is my reaction. Starting with Episode 6. There's nothing to teach with the cut. It's already there when you want it. It does require practice though. And now there's speak about Alina wanting to learn the cut. Also, maybe in conjunction with the third amplifier, they're trying to find the firebird. I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's see. Just stay. Um, like Nash's illusion or hallucination is with her and Cass. Mama. Oh, and then for Jesper, it's with his mom. And I believe that she's passed away, so this is like a good way of like diving into the crow's like backgrounds. Damn, there's a huge like cut thingy. Just destroyed a whole encampment. I think the Darklings like, I'm not holding back anymore. It doesn't matter what, I will do anything in my power to get to Alina. And now it's like getting at Alina. Same to Alina. I've got damn well better know how lucky it is to have you as the person to stitch it back together again. Two sides of a broken heart. I think Mal here, he's now seeing how Alina has that drive to protect Ravka and he's kind of accepting it, but I don't know, their relationship is 100% repaired yet. Oh. I love Kazan in there so much. This isn't real. We're here, Inej. I want you. But Inej knows that it's not 100% real because in reality, Kaz doesn't show his feelings for her in this way that her hallucination is. So I'm so sad for Inej. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Come on, Kaz. What are you doing? <laughs> Kaz! Forgive me. Inej saving Kaz, but not like saving him from the hallucination. She even says like, forgive me because she knows about the touch thing. But ugh, these two, these two characters, oh my gosh. She was the third amplifier who passed on what she was through generations. Dang, okay, so Mal is actually the firebird. Oh my gosh, the darkling just creeping in the corner. Didn't work. Your cunning little plan. Oh, he's so aggressive right now. Threatening innocent children. Look at what you've become. What you've always been. The black heretic poisoned by Merzos. Yeah, like now the Darkling is 100% like against Alina. This confrontation really is so one-sided, honestly. He just wants to destroy Alina no matter what. Bagra is here to save the day. Know that I loved you, Alexander. Know that it wasn't enough. No, I, I never meant to. Yeah. Like, we could see that the Darkling still cares for his mother. Bagra knows that she has to stop him. <laughs> and I think that's like what severs, like actually severs the connection to Alina. So Bagra is a real one for this. <laughs> she really is. There are those who drown us and those who pull us out. Maybe I saw something too. Hope is dangerous. No, Inej, no. Hope is not dangerous. I think that hallucination really just got to her. But then Kaz is like, I might have seen something too in my vision, but ugh. Again, these two. These, these two. I'm the final piece of the puzzle. With Mal telling Alina that he's actually the firebird it's it just brings a whole other layer of confusion and maybe devastation for Alina because now she has to decide between the guy she loves trying to save her country and the darkling has a new hand and he found out very important information <laughs> right on to episode seven that i have nothing to lose only because you have nothing. You will die alone, and I will die in our own. Now the Darkling's popping in to say, Hey Mal, <laughs> hey cousin. 
and I find it funny that the Darkling is trying any way possible to get someone onto his side and now he's trying to appeal to Mal of all people of course Mal's like dude no <laughs> Nikolai might have more feelings for Alina than I originally thought he knows that Alina is in love with Mal when I'm gone she'll need someone to stand by her side now with Mal telling Nikolai it's like just make sure you're deserving of Alina when he's gone and Nikolai is like are you sure you know I'm not really sure that I should be the one doing this I, you know Durast don't really do it give it to me I'll do it all right all right I really do like David although he comes off as a, such an obviously awkward guy but <laughs> he has his moments of comedic relief okay now the fold is expanding <laughs> which is of course the darklings doing what will it be miss starkov your convictions or your heart and i love that the entire motivation behind the Darkling is now revenge in a sense and it's all against Alina because she was supposed to be his hope and like his partner but now they're enemies <gasps> Inesh with the sword and I love that it's Inesh now saving Manalina from the shadow monster I really do have to give credit to again special effects because it's so cool how they're using all the Grisha powers in terms of like a war, a fighting sequence between people who don't really have powers and they're just using guns. And also how like creative that they can get with how like Grisha fight on screen. So it looks so good on screen. And Alina's on her way to destroy the fold. My demolitions expert. And the crow show up to save the day. I love I love that for Jesper. He's so in tune with his Grisha magic. I really like Jesper's flair of his guns and now he's being so creative with his use of his Grisha powers. I really do like how they're showing how the crows are working together. Okay and she's missing her fingers. Um, and Mal and Lena are having their moment and then we have the Darkling. Oh wow, so Alina actually just used a light cut against the Darkling so she can you have the power for the cut. Mal. Oh, but Mal's injured and the alternative for them to use like the finger amplifier is not a possibility anymore and also because David is dead. Um, I guess Alina will have to kill Mal, but let's see how that will be in the finale. So that was the end of episode 7. A lot happened, a lot of action sequences went down, and I'm actually quite happy with the Six of Crows storyline that they added in, although it can be a little bit awkward at times because they're just tossed in there right at the end to save Nikolai. Besides that, I do like having them on my TV screen and just watching the crows and the Shadow and Bone characters all together. But let's see how the finale will be and how they changed that from the books. And I want to say thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my reactions. I hope you can also give me a huge thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And also don't forget to ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.